Hello everyone and welcome back to Integration Ninjas. In this video, we are going to learn about how to integrate Sonar Cube Cloud with GitHub Actions. In today's digital landscape, ensuring code quality is paramount for any software project. Sonar Cube, a leading static code analysis tool, offers a comprehensive solution to detect bugs, vulnerabilities, and code smells early in the development phase. By seamlessly integrating Sonar Cube into your CI CD pipeline with GitHub Actions, you can enhance code quality, maintainability, and security while automating code reviews and ensuring adherence to best practices. Join us as we explore the benefits of integrating Sonar Cube Cloud with GitHub Actions and how it can supercharge your development workflow. Let's dive in. Before that, we just see the pricing also. Like, uh, is it paid or free? So, this is not free at all. We have to pay for private projects, but these are the pricing we can see but it is always free for the public projects open source analysis is always free and we are going to run it on the public project so let's do this if you have you on-prem server you can run it on on-prem or if you have a private project you can use this and if you have a local host server you can also use that in this flow but for now i am going to run a sonar cube cloud here okay let's do this Let's log in into the Sonar Cube Cloud here. I'm going to log in with, with the GitHub account. So let's do this. So when you will be logging into the Sonar Cube Cloud, you will come up with this pro project. So we have to, you don't have any project. So first we need to set up a project. So let's click on the Sonar Cube Cloud and the analyze new project. And we can need to import an organization from github because we don't have any project here let's click on this and it asks some permissions like uh, which repository it needs access i will give like uh, not give access to all repositories i will give access to only single repository let's me this is a spring boot uh, example one okay let's me just select once again not this one only the selected one here and I cannot see my repository here because earlier it was having access here so this is it and we because we have access here we can just uh, go to our sonar cube here since we already have access let's click a uh, new organization here create new organization we have this integration ninjas let's import this and we have this name here we are going to import this details here and we are going to select a free plan and we are going to create a organization and we have this uh, repository that we were seeing here the spring boot example let's work on this and let's set up this and let's select the previous version only the clean as your code and we once we click on the create project it will import this project into the sonar cube cloud and it will run a analysis stage here like it will try to run a static uh, analysis here like a sest scanning you can say it will perform a code scanning we can see you will get a first analysis of your default branch and the five most recent active pull request as well each new push on your default branch will trigger a new analysis automatically so this is it like each new push to a pull request will also trigger analysis so these are the things here now i want to don't want to run it directly here i want to run it on my specific branches here and suppose on the pull request so that we will see later but i want to run it from the github actions not directly from the sonar cube cloud that i don't want okay so what we have to do we this is java maven project and we have to set up this project here in the local what we have to do for the run this as a sonar cube scan here 
we need to set up uh, a file which is nothing but a sonar dash project dot properties and that file is uh, serves as a central configuration point for your sonar cube code analysis with your github actions workflow it houses key properties that instruct sonar cube on how to interpret and analyze your code okay so let's create a file sonar dash project dot properties we are going to add this here so we need to add few details here like uh, i have already added this sonar dot project key so project key is like a, a mandatory information like as i said it will have this essential information like key source binary details and everything so let's see like this project key what is the unique identifier that we can find under the we can find under here administration and update key option which is nothing but the organization name and the project name so we can see it's same here and we have organization name which is integration ninjas and sources it will just uh, in, instruct sonar cube to analyze all source code files located in the current directory like represented by dot symbol you can modify this entry point to specific directories if your source code is organized differently and this binaries is nothing but uh, specify the location of your compiled java files typically within a type target slash classes directory for maven or gradle projects providing this information enables sonar cube to like incorporate this artifacts into the analysis for more comprehensive code quality assessment all right so these are the configuration here now we have to run it on the github action so we need a workflow file so let's set up that which will be a sonar cube dot yml we will just name it and we can just name it as a uh, sonar scan all right before that we'll see like how is the progress on our scan okay this scan is completed here and one thing we need to notice here before running the scans here we need to go to our project and we need to click on our project and into administration we need to enable the automatic analysis as uh, we need to stop this like sonar cube cloud automatically analyze because we want to trigger from the github right so we have done this now we need a for running this let's see what details we need we are going to write a workflow file which will be triggered on the push event on the particular branches which will be the my branch name is i don't know actually okay this is sonar cube setup branch all right and we are done with this and let's create a job here uh, analyze we can name it as analyze job or any like uh, build job suppose build and analyze build and analyze okay which will be running on the my favorite runner which is github hosted runner ubuntu latest we can use our self hosted runner here and we can provide a, a local url of sonar cube as well we will see that in the next video but for now we are going to use the ubuntu latest runner all right and now we need to define some steps here first step always is the check out the source code which uses the action slash checkout and now we have to set up the java 17 information here like uh, because this may be like using the java 11 by default so we can just set up this information and we using the uh, action which is uh, uh, let's see which action we are action slash setup java we are going to use this is provided by github we can use this and we can provide the information that we need here and we need this information 
yeah we need this information then the name we already have and we will just use as action slash this and we need this information but i'm going to use java 17 since this project uh, supports java 17 the distribution i'm going to remain same doesn't affect okay so we have set up the java here the build is now we have to build the project so for that what we have to do we forgot to add name section here build project and we are going to run a command here mvn clean install i don't have any test cases so i will just skip them all right the test cases has been skipped here now we need to run a scan with the sonar uh, sonar cube provide a you can say a action which is used to run the sonar cube scan we don't need to specify any command anything else we can directly use this runner which will upload the result to the sonar cube uh, server automatically okay so for this we are going to use this uh, action provided by sonar source sonar cube scan action master the version is master so we are going to use this information how we'll get this information let's see this we need to set environment properties not the argument here when this action will be running it will automatically detect this environment variables and will automatically set this default values internally in the action code so we need two things here one is sonar host url which is nothing but uh, sonar cube cloud dot io all right and we have sonar token it can be anything like if you are using the localhost it will be the localhost url if you are using on-prem sonar cube url if you have installed sonar cube on the ec2 machine you can provide to that url as well so it doesn't affect anything here and we need sonar token how we'll get this information we need to click on the profile button here and we need to click on the my account and under the security section you need to create a token suppose a token you need to create I already have created and already have stored in the github secret we can click on settings and we need to go to the security section and secret and variables and we will click on the actions tab here and we are already added this you can add also suppose any name uh, sonar token and you just add any value and just add secret already have added I'm not adding this okay and that's it now what we can do we can just commit our code and we'll see if the results are getting published to sonar cube and the trigger is and the workflow is getting triggered or not let's see this okay we are going to commit this changes uh, sonar cube setup intentionally in this code we have added a vulnerability we have not closed the stream here we have opened like this particular will return some skill because we are reading the file we should handle it gracefully with try with resource or anything we should close some streams right so we haven't done this here so what it will do it will just uh, throw some error okay It should detect like in the sonar cube vulnerability i have explicitly added let's see if this is in the scan it is getting added or not we can see the actions tab and the sonar cube setup is running our workflow is running perfectly fine we can see the java setup everything the sonar cube scan is running and the scan is in progress here once this is completed we will be able to see the results in the sonar cube section here we can see the this execution is successful and analysis successful you can find the results at this location 
probably this will create a new branch in the in the branches we have now two branches because one was for master and now this we have triggered from the github action so we have issues here let's see what are the issues here we have issues here click on issues we have two issues we can see here there is a issue like use try with resource or close the stream in the finally clause where is the issue this is on this particular lines we haven't done this and why this is an issue it also shows that why this is an issue we need to add we can add comments also and we need to fix this once this once we fix this it will automatically will resolve also here and we can just uh, mark something like uh, anything like fixed or anything false positive also if there is an issue which you cannot uh, fix or that is like a requirement from the you can say from the business perspective that is causing some issue but still that is a requirement we have to keep this we can just mark it as false positive or anything or we can accept this some these are the few things here these are the assign we can assign this box to me and these are the blockers and the critical things we have two issues let's see what is the other issue so these are the things it shows here like properly we can see in the context load this is in the test file so this is it like we can find this uh, information the vulnerabilities and we can see the branches we have run on the two branches suppose i'm running on the new branch it will come up with this new branches and there are pull request if we have any pr scan it will come up there if we have any pull request okay so that's it like uh, in conclusion this include integrating sonar cube cloud with uh, github actions empowers developers to deliver high quality code efficiently by leveraging the power of static code analysis in your ci cd pipeline you can identify and address potential issues early before product before like deploying your code to the production which will be a useful and we will be delivering a better product to our end users so github actions can do to the with sonar cube can do anything like uh, this code reviews and pr scans and finding this vulnerabilities on automatically it will empower the ci cd scans to run automatically on every commit on every pull request okay so thank you for watching and happy coding don't forget to like share and subscribe for more tutorials like this see you in the next video thank you have a good day